Good day. This is Bennett, also known as Jeremiah. Today we're going to talk about the understanding of termite in financial mathematics. If you're interested in more videos, the playlist is found at the end of this video. It is also found right here on the top right of the screen at the suggested video. So let's begin. All right, here is the first question. So this question can be done without timeline. However, we are going to use timeline in the basic level so that you will understand it when I go to the other level. So the scenario says, Jack deposited 4,000 into an account. The interest rate for the first three years was 7% per annum compounded semi-annually and 8.5% per annum effective thereafter. Then they said calculate how much he will have saved after nine years. So what we'll do is that we'll draw a timeline. Now the timeline will always start from T0. Now notice that they said he deposited 4,000 into an account. So you will put 4,000 at T0. So he deposited the amount immediately, hence we put it at T0. Then they said the interest rate for the first three years was 7% per annum compounded semi-annually. So for the first three years, so we'll say T3. So we'll say T3. So notice because of the, they say the first three years. Now the interest rate was 7% per annum compounded semi-annually. So what I would advise you to do is that whenever it's compounded quarterly, you write I4. This stands for four times a month, right? Quarterly. If they say semi-annually, you'll say I2. So this is just uh, to help make the calculation easier. So we'll write I2 because it was compounded semi-annually. So we write this so that whenever we look at this, we know that it was semi-annually. It's just to make the calculation easier. And then we have to divide this by 100. So when you divide it by 100, you get 0 0.07. So we have to write it in this form so that we can be able to substitute it immediately in the calculation. So then they say that it was 6.5% per annum compounded quarterly for the next two years. So notice that they said the next two years. So they're talking about two years after T3. Two years after T3 is T5, right? So we'll just put it somewhere here. So it's the next two years. They didn't say in the second year. They said the next two years. So it's two years after T3. All right, let me just put it here to create a bit more space. So it's not about accuracy. It's just about putting it where it makes sense. So because it was compounded quarterly, we'll say I4, right? So this is just a simple, it's not an exponent. And then from there, we have to divide this by 100. When we divide this by 100, you get 0 0.065. So 0 0.065. So that's how it is. By the way, whenever the interest changes, you have to put dotted lines. So this is what we're going to be doing. So whenever there is a change of interest, notice that before it was 7% per annum compounded semi-annually, right? And then now it is um 6.5 percent per annum component quarterly so whenever there is a change we put a dotted line so it's going to help us especially in the next level so i did this question so that you can learn this particular portion before we go to the next level so just remember that whenever we change the percentage we have to put dotted lines so now they say it, it is 8.5 per annum effective thereafter so it just means that it's going to be um 8.5 percent per year right so they said effective day after meaning that from then onwards then they said calculate how much you will have saved after nine years so this means that the total is nine years right so for this period the interest rate was 8.5 percent right so because it's just per annum i'm just gonna leave it as i we can put i1 but let's just leave it as i so now it was 8.5 so when you divide that by 100 we get 0.085 so that's what we have now they said calculate how much you would have saved so now we are supposed to draw a solid line all the way to the end right it's always like that however whenever there are these dotted lines this is how we draw the dotted lines whenever there are dotted lines we have to pause and then continue and pause and then continue until the end. So it's supposed to be a solid line. However, whenever there are dotted lines, you have to pause and continue and pause and continue. So now let me show you how to calculate using this. So we have to start at this level before we go to the other level. So always remember whenever there is a change in interest rate, you just draw these dotted lines, right? Just draw these dotted lines. And then you always 
throw arrows that will pause and continue right so it will just pause here and continue then pause here and continue if there was another dotted line here then it would have paused again here and then continue so this will help you with the calculation so all you'll do is that you'll say 4000 because we know that the formula is supposed to be a is equals to p then we've got i plus or rather 1 plus i to the power of n right so this is the formula however we'll do it a bit different so we'll say a is equals to and then p is the 4000 that was deposited right so we'll say 4000 and then we'll open the bracket now we'll do it for the first portion this is why we draw arrows that stop so that we can be able to calculate each portion so for the first portion how long did it take it's from zero to three right so it's just three years so you'll say one plus and the interest rate was 0 0.07 or if you want it was seven percent per annum component semi-annually so 0 0.07 divided by two because it was component semi-annually and then the number of years was three right from here to here three years so you'll say three times two right whatever we divide here we multiply here so that's how it is and then we're done with this part so this is what the arrow is for whenever the arrow stops we have to calculate this part first which is this part now the arrow continues here so whenever there is a continuation you have to add another bracket it's just a rule that you'll follow so this is why we draw arrows that stop and continue wherever they stop and continue is wherever we'll put another bracket so from here to here is two years right now it is one plus what was the interest rate 6.5 percent right so 0 0.065 so 0 0.065 now it was quarterly right so divided by four now it's gonna be now it's gonna be two years right because from here to here is just two years so we're gonna say two then we have to say times four so that's how it is so we're done calculating this part now due to space we're supposed to multiply again right but due to space i'm just gonna say uh multiply so let me just continue over here so let me just say multiplied by so all this is one thing right so now we have to calculate the last portion so how many years is it from five to nine years is four years right you can simply just minus this it will just give you four years so four years so now we're gonna say one right so this is just time so yeah and if you want we can just choose not to put it because bracket just means multiplication yeah however this would fit in one line it's just because i don't have space here so this is gonna be how many percent was it, it was 8.5 percent right so it's gonna be 8.5 percent so notice i don't have to divide by one right it's just per annum so notice it was per annum so that's what we have so then how many years was it it was four years right we mentioned that it was four years so it's gonna be four years which is the same as four times one i mean and divided by one is one and the same thing so we don't have to do that so that's how it is so all you have to do is just to type this whole thing in a calculator exactly as it is so that you don't have to round off before the answer because we're not supposed to round off before the answer so you just type this exactly as it is in the, cal uh, in the calculator and then the answer you get will be the answer so the answer will be seven seven five two point two one right so we have to put the unit so in this case it is rents so that's how it is so i hope you get it so whenever the person deposit you just put that amount there whenever there is a change in interest rate you have to put dotted lines on the change right and then it is a must for you to draw arrows that stop and continue and stop and continue so that it can help you the calculation so that you know that wherever it stops and continues that's a new bracket so this is one bracket this would be one bracket this will be one bracket so that's how it is so you deal with the brackets according to the period for instance this is gonna be the first bracket so from zero to three years right so we know it's gonna be three years then the second uh, this will be the second bracket so this is gonna be from three to five years which is two years right and then the third bracket which is nine minus five which is four right so from five to nine years which is four years so that's how it is so just remember this is just the first bracket second bracket third bracket and then you deal with it according to its respective time period so let's go to level two just before i continue if you want to be treated whether it is online or physically 
whether it is the situation where you're struggling in meds or whether it is the situation where you're good in meds but want perfection take a screenshot or save these details whether you're studying cambridge which is the uk curriculum or whether you're studying nsc which is the south african curriculum or ieb or native courses which start from n1 to n6 or any curriculum you're doing no matter which country you're at we offer tutorials we've got lessons and practice sessions five days a week we also give you tests once a week so that we can check your improvements all right here is the second level so they say jack opens a saving account and the following transactions occurred he deposited fifteen thousand immediately three years later he withdrew twenty four thousand two hundred after a further four years he deposited twenty one thousand five hundred then they say the interest is calculated at six percent per annum compounded annually for the first five years ten percent per annum compounded quarterly for the next nine years then they said how much will he accumulate 14 years after the initial investment all right so let's begin so we know we have to draw a timeline so let's draw a timeline so let's just say we've got this solid line over here okay so yeah let me just draw it again somewhere here and we know it's gonna start from t0 so they said he opens a savings account and the following transactions occurred so he deposited 15,000 immediately so therefore at t0 we're gonna put 15,000 right so 15,000 so that's how it is so we know that we're supposed to have an error continuing until the end however it might be interrupted by changes in interest rate so let's not draw the arrow then they say three years after right they say three years later he withdrew 24,200 so it means at t3 so at t3 he withdrew 24,500 so what you will do when there is a withdrawal is that you will put minus 24,200 so it is minus whenever it is a withdrawal but whenever we deposit it is plus so that's how it is now notice again that I did not put it on the same line as this. The reason why is because remember we have to have its own error continuing until the end. So same thing here. This must have its own error continuing until the end. So that's how it is. So every time there is a new deposit or withdrawal, we have to draw it on the following line. So that's how it is. So now they said, what else did they say? So they said, um three years later he withdrew that then they said after a further four years he deposited twenty one thousand five hundred so after a further four years so four years from the t3 so which will be t7 right so at t7 so at t7 he added right he deposited twenty one thousand five hundred so do we have any other information so so far um we don't have any other deposits or withdrawals but now notice they said interest is calculated at six percent per annum component annually for the first five years so for the first five years the interest rate is six percent so what you will do is that you will say at t5 t5 is here right here so t5 is somewhere here so notice they said it's six percent component annually for the first five years so we know that it's going to change so we have to put a dotted line like that and then from there now um, notice they said it is 10 percent compounded quarterly for the next nine years so it means that this whole portion is six percent per annum first right it is 0 0.06 and then here this whole portion they said it is 10 percent per annum compounded quarterly so this portion is going to be 0 0.1 so let's write it in those symbols so um, let me see so it was that so it was annually right so it's just i so i is equals to that because it's just annually and then the second portion is compounded quarterly so here we'll say i4 right so that it can help us with the calculation so that's how it is yep so there this is so that you can have good notation when it comes to drawing your term your timeline and at the same time your calculations become easier so yep we're, we're done with all the information are we let's just see all right, so we haven't put the end. So now they said, how much will he accumulate 14 years after the initial investment, right? So we know that it's just going to be T14. So that's how it is. So this is the end period. So now we have to draw arrows. So that's how it is. First, you fill in the deposits and withdrawals, and you also fill in the changes in interest rates. So 
I'm supposed to draw an arrow fully up until 14 years. However, there is a pause, so I'll draw an arrow until here, and then I'll continue. So that's how it is. Alright, so now for this portion, notice that this starts exactly at T3, right? If you have space, great, but if you don't have space, you can just do this. So it starts from here to here, and then from here we continue until the end. So that's how it is. And then for this portion, it starts exactly at T7. So you can do this if you know it starts from this T7. So yeah, that's how it is. So it starts from T7. You can do that, or if you want, you can even do this. It really doesn't matter. So that's what we have. So there we have the timeline. Now we can do the calculation. So how do we approach this one? So first we have to calculate for this one. Then we have to calculate for this one. Then we have to calculate for this one. So let's deal with this one first. So we're going to have 15,000, right? So A is equals to 15,000. So 15,000. And then notice how many years was it? It's from, notice this arrow. So this arrow helps us with the years, right? So we're counting from 0 to 5. Notice we're not including T3. It's literally from 0 to 5. That's the purpose of the arrows. The arrows only stop when there is a change in interest rate. So from 0 to 5, it's just 5 years. And what is our interest? Our interest is just 6% per annum, right? So it's just 0 0.06 per annum. So yeah, how many years was it? It was five years, right? So that's how it is. And then from there, we know that we have, so this was just the first bracket. So we know that we have to do the second bracket as well. So from T5 to T14 is nine years, right? So it is nine years. So we'll say one plus. So what was the interest? It was 10% per annum compounded uh, quarterly, right? So it is 10% per annum, so 0.1 component quarterly so then we'll have nine years remember we said it was nine years so it's gonna be nine times four so literally we're done with the first part now we have to add it with the second part but notice that there is a minus so we'll just say minus so i'm just gonna continue on the next line so we just say minus so that's how it is so we'll now calculate for this one so we'll say minus two four two right we just put it exactly as it is so this is the first bracket this is the second bracket so the first bracket is from three to five years so from three to five years is two years right so um the, the interest rate is just 0 0.06 right so it's just six percent per annum so it was two years so yep from t3 to t5 two years so that's how it is so we're literally done with this part so it was per annum, we don't have to divide and multiply. So that's how it is. So now the next bracket, which is this portion, right? So from T5 to T14 is nine years. So we have to deal with this part. So now we're gonna say one plus. The interest rate is the same, right? 10% per annum component quarterly. So it's just gonna be 0 0.1. So it's just gonna be 0 0.1 over four, right? And then um, it was nine years. So 9 times 4. So we're done with the second portion, right? We're done with this portion. Now let's deal with the last portion. So notice with this portion, there is no interruption. We literally have an arrow starting from 17 to 14. So that is 9 years with no interruption. So we'll just say 21. So we'll say plus 21,500. Notice this one is plus because it was a deposit, right? So we'll say plus. So now the interest rate is just the same, right? 10 percent per annum compounded quarterly so it's 10 percent per annum compounded quarterly so that's for the next nine years so for the next nine years so nine times four so there is no interruption so hence there is no other bracket so that is it we literally just have to add all this stuff exactly as it is in the calculator so if you add it this will be the answer so there we have it and the unit is rents. All right, great. So after this, there is no other level. There is a different scenario on this level, which is loans. Now let's talk about loans. It's done a bit differently, but yet it's in the same level. All right, here is the question. Just before we attempt this question, if you're interested in knowing the prices of the tutorials, the video that contains the prices and the updated contact details, just in case the ones have changed, is found at the end of this video.
Alright, here is another scenario. So, what makes this scenario different is that this time we're talking about loan. So, this time something has been borrowed and it was not invested like before. Whenever we talk about investments, we do it as before. Whenever we talk about loan, we do it a little bit different. I will explain it again when I do the timeline. So, let's read the scenario. The scenario says Jack took out a loan and paid it back in full with three payments. He paid 10000 after two years, 8000 one year later, and 50000 five years after the loan was granted. The interest rate was charged at 7% per annum compounded monthly for the first two years, and 6% and 6 per annum compounded semi-annually for the next three years. What was the original value of his loan? So, we have to draw a timeline. So, even if it's loan, it's the same. We still put T0 at the beginning. So let's figure out the scenario. So they said he paid 10,000 after two years. So it means at T2. So at T2, we'll put 10,000. So we put 10,000 at T2. And then what else did they say? They said 8,000 one year later. So one year later is T3, right? So it means at T3. So at T3, we'll put they said what? They said it was 8,000. So 8,000. So notice that we're not going to write it here, but we are going to write it underneath because of the arrows. And then from there, what else did they say? They said, and 50,000 five years after the loan was granted. Notice that there are no further payments, meaning that the total is just going to be five years later. So it means that it's going to be at T5, right? So. They don't talk about any further transactions or rather any further payments. So 50,000, five years after the loan was granted. All right, so now this is going to be the end. The reason why it's the end is because notice that they said he paid it back in full with three payments, right? So this is the first payment, this is the second payment, this is the final payment. So that is the end. So the end is at five years, T5. So let's talk about the changes in interest. Sometimes there is no change in interest rate. Sometimes there is a change. Whenever there is no change in interest rate, the scenario just becomes easy. You just draw arrows. But if there is a change, we have to consider it. So the interest rate was charged at 7% per annum component monthly for the first two years, right? So it means that we know it's going to change at T2. So at T2, we have to draw dotted lines. So that's how it was. So they said it was 7% uh, per annum component monthly for the first two years. And then now notice they say this 6.5% component semi-annually for the next three years, right? So it means that this portion is 7% per annum component monthly, while this, this portion is 6.5% per annum component semi-annually. So here we're going to say 7%, right, which is 0 0.07 if we divide by 100, 0 0.07. So we're going to say, because notice that it was compounded monthly, so we're going to say I12, so that it can remind us that it was monthly. So that's how it is. So that is for this portion. So now for this portion, they said it was 6.5, right? They said it was 6.5% per annum compounded semi-annually. So therefore, we'll say I2. So we'll say I2 is 0 0.065. So that's how it is. So let me just write this a bit better. So I12 is 7% per annum component monthly. So hence we put this 12 to remind us. So what makes it different when it comes to loan is that the arrows will not go forward this time. So you have to just remember investments, arrows go forward. Loans, arrows actually go backwards. So notice that there is no interruption, so we draw one solid arrow. But however, here there is an interruption, so we stop, then we continue. And then here we will draw an arrow that stops here and then continues. So it points backwards until T0, right? So if it was an investment, it will point forward until the end. But because it is a loan, it will point backwards. So that's how it is. So how does this affect the calculation? The calculation is the same except for one thing. So let me show you the calculation. All right, so now let's talk about the calculation. So we have to deal with the first part. 
so now notice that there is only one arrow here so there are no interruptions so meaning that we'll only have one bracket so so far we'll have 10,000 so we're gonna have our loan as a still right so our loan is still a so we're gonna say 1000 then we're gonna say one plus so now let's check the interest rate so the interest rate for this portion is seven percent per annum component monthly right so it is 0 0.07 over 12 because it's monthly and then from there notice that is from zero to two years however this is what makes loan different the purpose of the arrows pointing backwards is to tell us that the time must be negative so when it comes to investments the arrows are pointing forwards and the number of years are positive but when it comes to loan the arrows are pointing backwards and the years will be negative this time so from zero to two years is two years however we will say negative two so we'll say times 12 because it is monthly so we do exactly as we would have done if it was investments it's just that because the arrows are pointing backwards the time will be negative so because it was only one arrow we're done with the first part right it only needed one bracket so now we're gonna say plus so we're gonna say plus let me just continue on the next line because of the space so we're gonna have one plus so we're gonna have one plus so now let's check um the percentage so now we have to deal with this part right and then we have to deal with this part because there is an interruption there are two arrows so for this part the interest rate is 6.5 percent per annum component semi annually right so we're gonna say 0 0.065 just like what it was written there over two because it was semi annually so the number of years from this portion to this portion because i'm still looking at this part from two to three years is one year however we'll make it negative since the arrows are going backwards so notice that we've only dealt with the first bracket now we have to deal with the second bracket as well so let's deal with the second bracket so from zero to two years is two years but we'll make it negative two since it's loan right the arrows are pointing backwards and the interest rate is seven percent per annum component monthly so we will say 1 plus 0 0.07 component monthly so we divide by 12 so we divide by 12 because it's monthly and the number of years we said it was negative 2 and then we're gonna say times 12 because it's monthly so we're done with the second portion so we're done with the second line so now let's go for the third line so we're gonna have 50,000 right so let me just write it over here so it's gonna obviously be 50,000 then we're gonna have one plus so now let's deal with so now notice that there are two portions there is this portion and this portion so we're gonna deal with this one first so what is the interest rate it's 6.5 percent per annum compounding semi-annually and the number of years from two to five years is three years however we'll make it negative three because the arrows are pointing backwards So it's 0 0.065 all over 2 and then we'll say minus 3 since um, it's 3 years but it's loan. It goes backwards. Alright, we're done with the first portion. So this first portion is done. So let's do with the second portion. So the second portion is from 0 to 2 years, right? So we'll make it minus 2. And the interest rate is 7% per annum compounded monthly. So we'll say 1 plus 0 0.07 over 12 and then because it was negative 2 we say negative 2 right we say the years are negative because it's loan and then times 12 because it's monthly so that's what we have all right so now if you type this part exactly as it is in the calculator this will be your answer so the SI unit is in rents so there we have it and we round off to, to the small places